Okay, in the previous video, um, I was introducing the least squares regression line. And so we had the explanatory variable and the response variable. We've got our points plotted, and then it makes sense that the least squares regression line would go through the coordinates of x bar, y bar. That just makes sense. In this video, I want to show you how we can actually find the equation of this line that goes through it. So, the actual equation of a line going through, well, an equation of the line going in the correct direction would be y is equal to bx for some gradient b. Now, that would be this line here. Okay, it's going in the same direction, but it's not currently going through x, y. And so I need to translate it so that it goes through the point x, y. In order to do that, I replace the y with y minus y bar, and I replace the x with x minus x bar. Now, if I reorganise this, then we have y is equal to bx, multiplying this bracket out, plus y bar minus bx bar. Okay, so if I'm looking at this in the form of y equals a plus bx, where b is the gradient of the line, and a is the y-intercept, then the y-intercept is y bar minus bx bar. That's this value here. Okay. So, as long as I know the mean of the x's and the mean of the y's, then I can then almost there calculate the value of the y-intercept, but I need b, this gradient b. Now, how can we calculate the gradient b? Now, the reasoning as to where the value of b comes from is a little bit beyond the scope of the book, but I'm going to try and explain it as best I can. B is said, well, is equal to SXY over SXX. Okay? SXY over SXX. Now, this notation you will not have seen before. What are these two values? Well, SXY is given the term of the covariance. And that is the sum of the x minus x bars times the y minus y bars. Okay? So I subtract the mean from each of the y coordinates, and I subtract the x mean from the x coordinates, multiply them together, and add them, and then add them. Add all of them up. The SXX's is actually the sum of the X minus X bars squared. So it's almost the variance, but I'm just not dividing through by N. So these values are given to you in the formula booklet. Okay? And this gives you the value of B, the gradient of the line. Okay? So what we're going to see in the next few videos, it makes, it does look very, very complicated from this, but the actual calculations and bits that we go through are very straightforward. So, I will show you in the next few videos exactly how this is going to work for us.